Morning live video. Oh, oh see. Hi. On tonight's episode of Bringing Up Bates, you find out about the making Look, of Look, she's just admiring my <laughs> ring because it looks really gorgeous with the wedding band part. I, I have seen it. Zoom in up close and show everybody. You will not be able to. You'll just have to wait and look on the show. The <laughs> I don't even know if that's So tonight's show, Bobby goes ring shopping. So that's about us. That's why we were talking Bob. about the ring. And Bobby actually had this thing like specially designed. Tori had. Let me just say, if what? you need a ring, I got you the man. What? She's our I'm so sure you you are are No, no. no. <laughs> I mean, if you need to buy a ring, I will tell you who to call. Cheap. And good work, and wow, Not everybody will say wow. Quality. Yeah. Even, quality. Even <laughs> no, it's quality, but I'm saying he's not hes not going to give you a bad deal. It's not cheap, but he gives you a good deal. You don't feel like you're ripped off. So while Thank we're, you while for we're on the topic. that Bobby is not for sale. I know. <laughs> That's I'll, not what I was saying. I'll tell you something about this that I don't even know if I actually mentioned on the show. I may have. But um, the guy that designed this ring for her is the same guy that made my mom's engagement ring. That's and also cool. that her brother got for his wife. So um, that is pretty cool. It's, and a it's the same guy that made Bobby's too. It's a little locally owned place in Pensacola, right near where I went to school. And uh, we went by there and I showed him the design uh, that Tori really liked. So that's kind of what's so that's like so kind of family tradition too. To really, to and his place. dad, his grandpa's the one that started the business, and his dad's the one that made my dad's, and then he made mine. <laughs> Okay, I'm all telling I have you, to he's say the best. Is, His name's Corbett Davis. Wow. The okay, third. so oh, Tori, we, I don't even know where the magazine came from. If it came in the mail, it was like a jewelry store ad. And Tori saw this ring on there that she was mesmerized by. And so she was like, save that picture. Mm -hmm. I think he Bobby, stole it from Bobby me. at one point took the picture away from she her. Put it in I said this is bad. It yeah. Because it was like a month. I am not the kind of person to go ring shopping. I I hate shopping. I don't want to have to go through 50,000 things to decide what I like because it confuses my brain. But when I saw that one, it was gorgeous and I knew it was wow. With a few exceptions. You okay, like some before yes. we get so too far, better. I'm going to stop y'all. We're going to tell you some more about what the show's about. Oh, sorry. Besides just the ring, no, you're cute. But before, I'm, I'm reading this because I always forget what to say. Up is giving away $1,000 for every new episode, including tonight's show. So Wait, you go to watchupandwin.com for the details. <laughs> and also, I'm reading this, so I'm going to get it right this week. Tweet along with us during the show using, that's called a hashtag. I call it the pound sign, bringing up baits. So pound sign, bringing up bakes, tweet along. However, I, there's no instructions on how to do that part. So you have to figure the tweet out on your own. Everybody knows how to use Twitter. Okay, well, I mean, I don't. For us. I mean, you're right. I don't. But I'm speaking for the world. The world knows how to use it. I don't have to be, I don't have to be knowing how. Speaking of, okay. This is random. Uh -oh. Speaking of like technology, are y'all gonna like update your Instagram? And okay, get, like, a couple of them. we are working that. Uh, we're gonna change the Instagram. I think we have been stoned officially by all the <laughs> no. social media. Lovers. We're gonna change his Instagram name to one that's both of us, and we're gonna post eventually. I promise. I'm very bad at. We'll make a confession. This is the problem. When you go so long without posting something, that first post after a long time is it's gonna just be like, such a big deal. Post? What do you it has post? to be perfect. So we go and we think, oh, this would be a good Instagram post. No, because it's the first one in like a year. Oh, man. And then we just don't. So. We're going to get there. Out. We've been setting up the house. Actually, Mom's been helping us set up the house. And my school started. So I'm trying to figure out my schedule. Give us a week. Once we get our we'll life try presentable. by the end of next College week. College was yeah. supposed to officially start yesterday, but we had a snow day. So today was the first day of college, and Katie start tomorrow. starts the uh, dual yeah. enrollment student. So this is her last semester of high school, so she's doing the dual enrollment deal, and it's actually going to take lots some of classes. Prayer. She's college, gonna baby. love it. College. <laughs> she's in college. Yeah. College girl. So college old. girl, right so here. Old. This is kind of. It's kind of. Uh, like this is Tori's actually her last semester of college and Katie's the first she semester. So my next semester. I'm, I'm graduating all by myself. Graduate, Katie. And Josie no, is no. holding the camera tonight. I don't know if she'll turn it around. Well, and show she looks better all of us. Say. But <laughs> Josie finished her cosmetology. She took her test. She is licensed now, 
And she even went on her first interview. I'm still so, a little bit And she jealous. cut my hair tonight to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, and it looks and good. Th by the way, Bobby, that's the best haircut you have ever had. I'm a little bit partial, Thank but you. it's also the cheapest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so don't forget before we go any further, somebody needs to be like, you know, comments. Well, for some reason it it's not happen. working. Okay, well, we can't read a lot of comments. Oh. Send them in anyway. Let me try to get find it. But watch upandwin.com for a thousand dollar giveaway and tweet along with us on your little pound hashtag. Bring it up the base. comments. Okay, what's I the show have. about? What's the show about? Well, the ring. The, the ring. What else? Shopping. Well, Bobby's preparing to move to Tennessee, and you were mm -hmm. kind of getting his little home away from home ready for him. Oh, decorating. guys. I'm I think Kelton's doing something with plumbing. Yep. Yeah, he ran into some issues there. All right. Now, somebody asked. So, here's a question somebody asked. Um, how have you parents been adjusting to the kids courting and entering marriage? They love it. It's like they're reliving their old oh, years. Oh, my word. <laughs> okay, so let, I mean, me old just, days. let me just paint the scenario for you here. Tori and Bobby were happily away on their honeymoon. Erin's plumbing, plumbing broke, so she had to come over and stay with us. Her and Chad and the babies had to stay with us for a few days. And I think every night, me and Erin sat on the couch moping and whining, saying how much we missed Tori. We were both like boo-hooing. We miss Tori. We miss Tori. I'm really sorry. I know. And you were just okay. living it up out there. <laughs> no. It, it, Who's from you the know, we it's joke and we Alaska. say that it's hard, and it is. There's, you know, that certain element of miss them. But it's also joyful because now we get to like go on real double dates and we get to laugh about things it is and fun. talk about, you know, married kind of talk like we've never got to really laugh about before. So it's, it's kind of fun. How many grandchildren do you have now? Oh, wow. Okay. So I have um, Zach and Whitney have two and Alyssa and John have two and their third is on the way due in April. And Aaron and Chad have two, and their third is on the way due in April. So I, come April, I will have eight grandbabies. So you have six Aww. going on eight. Yes. You're going to see the number. On the yeah. Okay, yeah, it's yeah, busy. <laughs> okay, are you, get, are you looking up comments too? Okay. Somebody asked how. Uh, yes, anybody can message us on Instagram. His Instagram name is, what's your Instagram name? Robert Ellis Smith. Yes, just Robert Ellis Smith, and it's going to be changed eventually. Okay, so somebody Sometimes. asked how when we the... get married, my name changes. <laughs> somebody asked how did the dynamics at the house change when one of the kids moves out? Has Tori moving out changed anything? It yes, seems everybody's like... broken. Well, well no, I got they can't bed, handle so it. <laughs> they cannot handle it. It seems like there's this kind of cycle that happens. Somebody will notice there's a void in like housework and help. And they just kind of fill in and really just do an abundance of work to help make up that gap. Tori did that for a while. She just really, she was a motivator. She helped me tutor the kids and that was a, also a way for her earning money. She helped clean the house, she helped organize. But then here's what happens in the cycle. A guy comes along, they get distracted. It's the best part of the cycle. And all of a sudden, not only do they not help anymore, they're like in their own little world. We said Tori was in help. La La Land. Look, <laughs> I have an excuse. It was not just Bobby. It was school. I was loaded down with school. I was. And you were. I have to admit. I was. And then, you and then too. They, yeah. get, they get stolen away from us and you leave. So then there's another void and somebody else steps up to the plate. So right now, Carlin and Josie are kind of the oldest girls there. They're stepping up to the plate filling in all this void, and lo and behold, these guys are trying their hardest to woo them away and distract and them from me. And then it's going to be just me. How's They're that getting great, to guys. get distracted and to enter that little la-la land stage. So. I mean, Mom, we're just following in your footsteps. We want to be like I you. I have to agree. I have to I agree. I mean, come on. <laughs> okay. I'm smooth. Okay. Do you ever do any speaking engagements? Um... We do at churches usually. We do a lot of um, marriage conferences, and of course, Gil's a pastor, so he preaches a lot. We limit our speaking engagements just because he preaches every Sunday morning, Sunday night, and Wednesday night. So we try not to miss too many of those services, but we do do that on this occasion. This is important. 
Okay, wow. We do not still live in the camper. That's true. <laughs> no way, post way. <laughs> we have an apartment around here. And one other thing, whoever is in labor, I'm sorry I missed the name, but wow, I am impressed the that Deans. you are watching this Dean right family. now. The Dean family. Wow. And I am so sorry. Okay. Congratulations. Well, let's pray for a safe labor and Love delivery. Yeah. Speaking of prayer, I don't know how many of you out there are like technology savvy. If you follow Instagram accounts and if you follow Lawson's, I think it's Law Bates is the name of his. Mm -hmm. He posted recently um, that he was, he had met a little girl in Children's Hospital there in Nashville. I forget what's the name of that big hospital, Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt Hospital. This little girl was injured at um, the, a construction site and really needs your prayers. If you can look up that Instagram post, it'll really touch your heart. She was fine one second and the next moment um, she was in this just catastrophe, so unexpected injury there on that site. And so she's really struggling there in the hospital. She could use your prayers. So look up that post. It'll really bring a tear to your eye. What a sweet little girl. Okay. Can you come to West Tennessee to speak? Oh, well, I tell you what, you have the pastor of your church contact Gil and... We would love to be able to do that. You can you can go speak there in a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, speaking of which, another update. So, Bobby and Tori, um, is it okay to talk about your future? Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, Bobby has gotten hired to work at a church in near Nashville, on the outskirts of Nashville, Nashville Tennessee. They're waiting on Tori to graduate. This is their last semester. So, after graduation, they are already planning to move. We are. We're very excited about it. So there's going to be a Bates contingency in Nashville. There's going to be a branch of the Bates family in West Tennessee. So we'll be And out then there. we're waiting for Carlin to join us. And it's perfect because there's a Christian school there. So there Tori's major is education. So they can, you know, be useful there in the church and the school and really have a good ministry. We're excited about it. We haven't got to visit the church yet and hear the pastor. They're going to eventually. But, I, it's, yes, it is on my list to do because Tori has visited several times. She comes home bragging about this pastor so much that I'm thinking, boy, we need to go sit under his <laughs> preaching. Wow. Okay, so anyway. that And the funny thing is the name of our church is Bible Baptist Church. The name of the church where they've been hired is Bible Baptist Church. So There's something about so, <laughs> Bibles and Baptists. I keep saying <laughs> and that, that them as a couple had so many similarities to me and Gil as a couple. So it's just funny all these little quirky similarities. Okay. While they're looking on comments, don't forget. Sorry. Up is giving away $1,000 for every new episode. You go to watchupandwin.com and tweet along with us. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, so my school, I don't actually know if it's easier this semester or not because I don't go into the school. I student teach this semester, so I start in the school this coming Monday. So I'm a little bit nervous, and I'm excited because it's first grade. So how much fun can you get, you know? So I'm excited about it. We'll see how intense it gets. Okay, so here's a question. How is Nathan and Lawson doing? Nathan and Lawson yeah. are two of the busiest people in our family. Um, Lawson is practically is in Nashville probably four or five days out of the week, um, constantly writing songs. He's got a whole list of new songs. He's very private about letting us hear them. Usually Katie's the one that gets to hear all of his work. They are going to be great. Lawson and Katie kind of click, and so she gets to proof all of his songs. We beg and beg and beg, and he's like, not till it's finished, not till it's finished. So anyway, he's been really busy working on that. Nathan is always busy. Um, he's either doing tree work or, or pilot lessons, flying somebody or going to some mission work. Him and Lawson are actually on a trip now, um, and I'm sure they'll be talking about that in weeks and weeks to come somebody so, asked uh somebody asked if sunday school is is open for just everybody would or would recommend just coming to the service i didn't see the whole comment but oh let me talk about that because bobby actually teaches our sunday school and it is um we have a very small church and he so is really good sunday school is all together no all bias. ages all together and um bobby does it and he 
He is great. I am still so convicted from last week's service. Yeah, me too. So convicted. He he's really good. We oh, went over we're time. over time. Come to Sunday so, school. God bless you. Sorry. We'll see you next week, Lord Can we willing. See